Let's get right into it. Number 9. Morning Sickness That queasy feeling pregnant women get isn't just nature being cruel, it's an ancient security system. Back when our ancestors ate whatever looked edible, pregnancy was a food gamble. One bad piece of meat or a sketchy mushroom could be fatal for both mother and baby. So evolution made pregnant women hate anything potentially dangerous. That's why the smell of fish suddenly makes them want to hurl, or why a slightly bitter vegetable tastes like poison. Because sometimes it was. During early pregnancy, the body becomes a paranoid food critic. That meat looks a day old. No. Those berries smell funny. Absolutely not. It's like having Gordon Ramsay living in your stomach, except instead of yelling, he just makes you throw up. The timing isn't random. Morning sickness peaks when the baby is most vulnerable to toxins. Once the baby is more developed, the nausea usually subsides. So a pregnant woman turning green at the smell of lunch is her body running software that's kept babies safe for eons. Number 8. The white part of your eyes. Look at a dog's eyes, then a chimp's eyes. They're basically all dark. Now look at a human eye. All that white stuff isn't a design flaw. It's evolution turning us into walking communication devices. Most animals hide where they're looking. It's a survival tactic. You don't want predators or prey knowing your focus. But humans went the opposite direction, basically installing neon signs pointing to our gaze. The reason we evolved to be such terrible poker players is because cooperation was more important than stealth for our ancestors. When hunting a mammoth with others, silent communication was key. A quick glance could mean danger over there, or food this way, without a sound. You can tell exactly where someone's looking from across a room. Try doing that with your cat. Their eyes are designed for stealth. Ours are designed for teamwork. This white eye feature is so powerful that babies learn to follow eye direction before they can even walk. It's like being born with built-in GPS for other people's attention. Those whites of your eyes are an ancient technology that helped us become the ultimate team players. Number 7. That smell when it rains. That amazing smell when rain hits dry ground, the one making you want to stand outside and just breathe, isn't you being weird. It's your brain running software older than agriculture. That smell is called petrichor. It means your ancestors knew they weren't going to die of thirst. For most of human history, rain wasn't just nice weather. It was the difference between a tribe surviving or becoming archaeological evidence. In places where water was scarce, that smell meant everything. It meant plants would grow, animals would return, and children wouldn't starve. The smell comes from oils in the soil and bacteria, but your brain just knows this smell meant jackpot for thousands of generations. Think about that reaction. A terrible day can suddenly feel better after rain. That's your brain releasing good chemicals because it thinks you found the survival lottery ticket. Our ancestors who got excited by this smell rushed to rainy areas. They found water, food, and resources. The ones who didn't care about the smell likely died in a drought. So smelling the rain isn't poetic, it's a survival program. Number 6. That ring of flesh in your throat. Those weird lumps of tissue in the back of your throat, the ones that swell up when you're sick, aren't design flaws. They're your body's ancient bouncers. It's called Waldire's ring. A circle of tissue including your tonsils and adenoids, Together, they form a biological kill zone for germs. This ring sits right at the entrance to your body. Everything you eat, drink, or breathe passes this checkpoint. Evolution put a security system right at the front door. This was crucial when our ancestors drank from streams and ate questionable food. No antibiotics, no hospitals, just them and bacteria on their mammoth steak. These tissues sample everything. Food is cool. A deadly pathogen means sound the alarm. They're packed with immune cells ready to identify and remember threats. Sometimes they overreact, causing tonsillitis. That's just your ancient security system being overzealous. Removing tonsils today doesn't mean they're useless. It means we're accustomed to filtered water and refrigerated food. Your throat ring is still standing guard. Number 5. Sweaty palms. If your hand gets clammy during a job interview, your body thinks you're about to fight a bear. That embarrassing palm sweat isn't trying to ruin your social life. It's a program that used to save lives. When our ancestors faced danger, they didn't have time to worry about slippery hands. Their bodies automatically turned on the palm sprinklers. A little moisture actually improves grip. Not soaking wet. Just enough clamminess to increase friction on rough surfaces like tree bark or rock faces. Imagine being chased by something with teeth. You need to scramble up a tree or cliff. Bone dry hands might slip. Slightly moist hands make you an ancestral Spider-Man. The same thing happens on your feet. Damp socks when you're nervous mean your body is preparing for a barefoot sprint. Your brain hasn't realized you're wearing shoes in a conference room. Modern life turned this superpower into a social nightmare. Your date doesn't need optimal tree climbing grip. 
Your boss doesn't care that you're ready to scale a cliff. But your body doesn't distinguish presenting quarterly reports from escaping predators. Sweaty palms mean you're evolutionarily prepared for action. Not nervous? Combat ready. Number four, your inner fish. For a brief moment in the womb, you had gill slits, like a fish. You weren't about to be born breathing underwater, though. Every human embryo develops pharyngeal arches. In fish, these become gills. In you, they became parts of your head and neck. Your body was following an ancient recipe, then slightly changed it to make a human, not a fish. This is evolution recycling. Instead of starting from scratch, your body uses the same basic blueprint fish used hundreds of millions of years ago, then modifies it. Those gill slits in human embryos turn into important parts like your jaw, middle ear bones, and voice box. It's biological upcycling, turning old fish parts into human features. Every vertebrate does this. Dogs, cats, birds, lizards. We all start with the same fishy blueprint. For a few weeks, a human embryo looks strikingly similar to a chicken or salamander embryo. It's like we're all following the same IKEA instructions for the first few steps. This is why some people are born with tiny holes near their ears or cysts in their necks. That's just your inner fish. Your body forgetting to fully close up those ancient gill structures. Your body decided breathing air and talking were more useful than filtering water. Number 3. Why babies freak out. When you startle a baby and they throw their arms out like they're hugging the air, it's not random. That's a million-year-old, oh crap, I'm falling program. It's called the Moro reflex. Your baby is channeling their inner monkey. Back when we were swinging through trees, baby primates had one job. Hold on tight or become a forest floor pancake. When mama monkey jumped, baby had to grab something fast. Evolution hardwired this panic grab response. Feel like you're falling. Throw arms wide. Grab anything. Human babies still do this, even if their biggest drop is from the couch to the carpet. A loud noise near a newborn, and their arms go out. Fingers spread, followed by a desperate grabbing motion. They're trying to catch mom's fur that isn't there. The baby has no idea why. Their conscious brain isn't online yet. This is pure, ancient instinct. Falling. Grab something. Where's the fur? This reflex disappears around six months old, when ancestral babies would have been strong enough to hold on. Your body has a timer. Okay. Emergency tree grabbing mode off. A baby doing the starfish panic move is running software for a different hardware setup. Number two. Your body's heating system. That uncontrollable shaking when you're cold isn't your body breaking down. It's your muscles doing an inefficient workout to keep you alive. Shivering is your body saying, we'll make our own heat. Every muscle starts tiny, rapid contractions. Not enough to move you, just enough to burn energy and generate warmth. Your muscles are doing thousands of micro-exercises per minute. An invisible gym session, not to get swole but to avoid freezing. This system is ancient. Before fire, clothes, or central heating, this was it. Your ancestors survived ice ages with involuntary muscle spasms. It's completely automatic. You can't just stop shivering by willpower. Your body says, nope, you're cold, we're doing this. It's a program older than language, tools, or our species. Modern humans see shivering as weakness. Just tough it out. But your body knows better. Keeping you alive with a system field-tested for millions of years. Shivering at a bus stop means your muscles are dancing to keep you alive. The world's oldest rave with survival as the only beat. Number one, pruny fingers. Look at your fingers after a long bath. Those wrinkles mean your body just gave you temporary superhero grip. It's not because you're absorbing water like a sponge. For years, people thought pruny fingers were just waterlogged skin. That's wrong. This is an active process. Your nervous system redesigns your fingertips on the fly. If certain nerves are damaged, this doesn't happen. Your body chooses to do this. Evolution gave us fingers that look like raisins, because our ancestors needed to grab wet stuff. Not dropping your phone in the toilet, but catching fish, climbing wet rocks, gathering food in the rain. Survival stuff. Those wrinkles work like tire treads. They channel water away, giving much better grip on wet surfaces. Scientists tested this. People with pruny fingers are significantly better at handling wet objects. Your body installs rain tires when conditions get slippery. This adaptation is specific. It only happens on fingers and toes where grip is needed. It only happens when they're wet for a while and goes away once dry. Sophisticated engineering. This happens to everyone, everywhere, automatically. A baby in Tokyo, an old man in Peru, a teenager in Norway, get their hands wet long enough, instant grip upgrade. Those aren't just wrinkles. Those are evolutionary grip enhancers. Your body is literally shape-shifting to keep you from dropping stuff. That's a superpower. That's all for today. 
I'll be making similar videos in the future. Subscribe to see them.